Hey guys, hello, Frank here, and we have our next Slash Night here revealed. It's Claude, which, yeah, I'm going to be frank, honest, I kind of saw this one coming. So, well, here's the thing we were bound to get Slash Night Claude sooner or later. It was not, it was a given when we got Edogar and then we got Dimitri. Claude was going to be the next one up sooner or later. Uh, that means Spider's going to be the last one, and I'm going to assume we're going to get him around June, July time would probably be the best time for me if I'm taking a wild guess here. Uh, most might guess him for you because that's when Free House was released, so it just makes sense. Let's just get into this, Dan. I'll be a hero. That's a hero. Alright. King of Unification. Nobles and commoners are equals here. That suits me just fine. Yeah. First off, God Shining Stars music. Loving it. I'm hoping that's the actual thing they use for the actual Legendary Battle. Alright, Fault Not, a Cell Special Cooldown. Code of Minus One, of course. I get Fact Against Flying Foes. It's both makes sense. At the start of comment, the unit CP is above 25%. He gets Attack Speed, Defense Press, Plus 5 during, to himself during combat. And neutralizes effects that, prevent, that guarantees the unit's fall, foes follow of attack. And prevents the unit's follow of attack during combat. So we're getting sort of that ability back set around, which means warning blow is not going to do any good. Uh, I think quick repost is one of the other skills in my mind here. Uh, Luna, so treats the treats foes defense as if it was reduced by fifty percent during combat. Makes sense. Speed attack catch four new skill. At the start of combat, if you if foes HP is a hundred percent, or if penalty is active on foe. Grants attack speed to 7 during combat. At the start of combat, if the boosty speed doesn't hit, it's 100, it's 100 and penalty is active on foe. Gets an additional attack speed plus 2 during combat. So this is very interesting to see. So if the foe is 100% health or half his penalty, attack speed plus 7. If both are, are in the condition of red, he gets an attack speed plus 9. And of course, they say penalty, penalty is at Last on foes on foe for next action includes penalty effect skills like panic, threaten, negative styles like you know that sort of thing. So falling star, it's exclusive to him, and if my memory serves me right, that is the name of his uh, unique weapon skill from the game. Correct me if I'm wrong on that one. If you know this is combat, reduces damage from foes first attack by eighty percent during combat, and after combat grants falling star to unit and inflicts gravity on. Target and foes when one space during combat. And Falling Star is obviously for one turn. During the unit's first combat uh, in the player's phase or any phase, reduces damage of foes first attack by 80%. And then you obviously reduce targets to one. And Speed attack, speed Defense Ring 3. In fact, Speed Defense 4 to foes when two speeds during combat. Holy crap, it does stack that is strategy in motion right there and effectively. Works in all ways. My God! Ha! Oh, I love that. Also, he's getting speed attack speed fourteen. That's interesting. Kind. Someone else must be triggering here. There's showing that damage reduction. Hold a grudge if you must. I think it was a script for in the game as well. Also, he's here clear. Lashley Aitiki. Uh, Held. Or, Let Naga. Late. Lashley Leaf. Altina. Annette. Mila. Lashley Silas. Hell. Milady. Kyandra. So, we'll come back to the everything there, but. The banners are. Essentially, it's tomorrow or later on in Raj, or, or later on, or in the night, or like 11 o'clock in America. So, straight to the bat, let's go for it. Colorless is quite good. Although, oh god, Mila's back. Please, no, don't give me more any more Mila's. I'm having, I'm having enough flashbacks to Korra. Because what, Mila, then Legend and Leaf, that's their good combo. Well, they're pretty good, so most good support and can also do stuff on if you're doing every race, an extra turn is always nice. Uh, 
screen is actually, um, for me, it's good because it has units that I need. Uh, Triandra is a very good dancer. Hell is insanely good. And that is also a good unit. Red's also, like, just good in general. Every unit that I believe like, disencounters. Uh, Altina is pretty much a powerhouse. Is basically just a brave weapon with, with this encounter built in. And has Fantage as well, so insanely good. So busy about around her, I guess. Oh, and she nullifies her weakness to flying, so you know that. Hell is probably the weaker of the three, but still good. Slash itself, it's not, it's not, it's pretty good to have. Blue is, it's okay. I mean, Naga for fact I've got Dragon Bonus. Slash Tiki is not bad Dragon Unit. Uh, Milady, also good, so. You know, generally, I'm very happy with this banner. This banner is a good banner. Like, I'm not going to joke. Uh, I'm not joking about that one. Uh, well, yeah, not going to lie about that one. And Claude is really good. Uh, obviously, when the banner comes out tomorrow, I'm going to check its stats. Um, we'll just hope for the best. And actually, this is probably going to be the banner I might just go more if I just pull Claude because I want I need, I want Hell, I want Triandra, and so Like, all three of the Union... I think the three units I'm missing are all on this banner. Legendary Mythic Heroes I'm missing are all on this banner, so it really works to my advantage. I've come, I can't remember if I'm missing any other ones. No, I think I have, I think it was the only thing I'm missing, which just works out my favor in this one. Anyway, what do you guys think of the banner, I guess? You know, with Claude, uh, you know, he's he's looking like a good unit. And obviously, this is based off his war, ta war, uh, arc so yeah this is gonna be the interesting part so what do you guys think of Claude then I guess let me know in the comments and I'll see you until next time bye